All right, so at the moment, we are showing all the posts on the home page and doesn't matter how many we have it's just going to be added to this page but we want to have pagination so this is not a good approach now in Laravel adding pagination is very easy let's go back to our project in our post controller so we are grabbing our posts and sorting it by date in a descending order then we say get all the posts so now we want to say don't get all the posts get them in a paginated manner so instead of get we can use paginate so this paginate function returns a paginated collection, if you will, and we will see what we get actually. And it would take the number of how many instances we want in a page. For example, I want six posts in one page. And let's die and jump our posts one more time. So let's go back to our project, give it a refresh. Now remember, before we got a collection, now we are getting a length of our paginator. And within that, we have all these properties like our items. So this is our collection of posts. We have six per page. We have the current page, the path, and all these things that are just done using this function. And again, this is the power of Laravel. Now, if we render our site, we get, of course, six posts, but now we have to create a way for the users to navigate between pages. Let's go back to our index template where we are showing all the posts. So we want to show the page numbers right after this wrapper for our posts. So the last div. Let's create another div. And within that, we want to show the page numbers. This posts array now has a links function available to it since it is a paginator. So we can just pass that links function here and let's see what we get. Go back to our website and if you scroll down, we have these weird looking page links, but it actually works. So if we go to page two, we can see in our URI, it says page two. If we go to the next page, we go to page three. So it actually works and it is telling us it's showing from post seven to 12 and so on. But the styles are broken and that's because of tailwind so in our tailwind config file in the content array we are saying that these files contain tailwind classes however the paginator default styles are coming from a different file so we need to add the directory for that file so let's go to our vendor folder and then laravel then framework then source illuminate then pagination then resources then views so this is the folder we want to add to this list if we right click on it and just copy paste it here in the quotation so we want to go to that directory and then say look for all the files with the blade.php extension so this is kind of a detour we have to take in order to get our pagination styles right all right so we want to go to vendor laravel framework source illuminate pagination resources views and then say all the documents with the blade php extension so if we save this one now and go back to our website now the pagination looks fine and this pagination is actually dark theme because my system's theme is dark so you can actually customize this the way you want but that's for another video and it's actually a bit of a headache and i think this already looks great so that's all about pagination in laravel again it is very easy we just have to use this paginate function in our controller and we can render the links using this links method in our blade template so in the next video we want to see how we can create a post through a user